resetting back to level one is probably one of the best experiences that many old players could experience. Because honestly, this is the best feeling I have gone through in such a long time. Because the game feels a lot more refreshing than how it used to feel before. Of course, as we kind of get on and start doing more in the game, the game becomes kind of less refreshing and becomes much more spammy and etc. I mean, this is kind of a thing for every single game. But this is a brand new series, guys. And in this series, I will be teaching you guys the best things to do as a free-to-play player along with also being a pay-to-win player. So I will also be giving you guys examples throughout this series on what offers you guys should buy, how you could save up your gems, what weapons you should buy and everything along these lines and we could together maybe create a brand new account and we could experience the Pixel Gun 3D together once again. So let me jump right into a game and I believe uh, I am currently level 2. I'm not sure why I'm exactly level 2 however I will be jumping into the good old pool party which is the map that every Everybody starts the game on. I believe I will be uh, spawned with a lot of bots, however, it really does depend. Alright, so this is a team fight map. I am going to be very slow, and I am actually very surprised why I'm this slow. So I'm going to quickly change up my settings in the game. So give me a second. Alright, we are back. So, this game I believe is again filled with bots because already they are getting a lot of kills and they have a weapons that I do not have. So, let's see. Kill assist. Alright, I'm gonna see how good I am because I have rarely, I have not played Pixel Gun 3D in quite a long time, if I am to be completely honest with you. And I believe I have aim assist on right now, so I'm gonna have to turn this off. Alright, yeah, definitely gonna have to turn this off. And I can tell by a fact that these are already bots. Um, let me just turn the aim assist on because I like playing without it. Alright, let's see how good I'm gonna play. I remember I used to be using and the snipers a lot but I, I believe it's gonna take me at least a few episodes for me to like get back into swing of things and getting uh, fully back and good at the game because again I used to sweat this game a lot but I'm not this good at the game anymore since I've been taking a lot of breaks which kind of is a thing that many of us kind of go through we do take a lot of breaks throughout uh, playing the game and this might be the first time that you guys might see me playing uh, the game like properly because I'm kind of a uh, commentary youtuber who goes through a lot of like uh, things as time goes but really I'm trying to do something different, I'm trying to do something I could enjoy, like, before I wasn't really enjoying these uh, normal informative videos I used to do every single day, but this, this is kind of a brand new start and I might actually start enjoying it a lot more. And yes, I will be buying a lot of different offers and stuff and show you guys exactly what to buy. I'm trying to kind of not die here, but maybe dying is also a thing that, uh, that I kind of need to do because I feel like this sniper is a two shot headshot, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But again, my aim is so insanely bad right now, so I cannot really give you guys the best gameplay. I could always purchase a different weapon, which I might be doing uh, very soon. Um, but currently, there is this one offer, which I will be talking about in another video for you guys, which is the uh, Hash Punisher, which is currently available in, sh in the shop for every single new player as you start the game. And that's probably what I'm going to be buying as the first thing. And I'll be recommending you guys if you should buy it or not, so make sure to stick for the next episode, of course. And yeah, I have is playing with a team fight. It's such a nice experience to go through. Like, again, I'm, I'm not really playing the best, but I'm gonna try my best to start getting good at the game. I might even uh, switch to iOS at some point to maybe start playing on a controller because I used to play uh, games on controllers and I used to be so much better on, uh, on controller and stuff. But I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I am currently first in my team, which is pretty damn good if I'm gonna be honest. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to be missing a lot of shots still, but victory! This is the first win of the whole entire series, and oh boy, 5 keys, 20 XP, and 4 coins. Let's go back to the lobby, and I believe I have the ranked up. Yes, I have ranked up to level 3, I believe. Is it level 3? Have I ranked up? Oh no, I have to get exactly 65 XP to get to level 3. So I'm going to have to win an average game or maybe even draw the game. I'm not exactly sure. But here is the new lottery, which is a very interesting experience. Here we have it. It's telling me to open the event chest. So I'm going to do exactly as the game says. And really, the novice chests are so insanely good in terms of uh, getting things. And here we have it. Oh my gosh, we got the Neon Fighter. I remember this used to be a clan weapon. And genuinely, the developers are doing a great job in terms of lotteries for new players players and look how many weapons there is like this is absolutely insane so what do we have in the fighter chest nothing really special but we have so many of the good old clan one weapons in here which is a really refreshing experience if i'm gonna be honest even the pulling cycle gun for parts i didn't know that they made a part weapon and here we have it the ultimatum and the harsh punisher in here i will be doing an opening video at some point where i will be spending keys and i'll be telling you guys again the best office to um spend the keys for and here we have it uh, i do not have any weapons guys just for 
it for later. I, none of these weapons which I, we have here, I do not own them, so do not worry about this. I might actually buy the AK and would normally save to, uh, say to save uh, our weapons, I mean to sell our coins, however, I am going to be using the Neon Fighter, and the reason why, it's probably going to be better than the AK, so I'm going to go into uh, Nuclear City, because I have not played Nuclear City in such a long time, and this used to be such a refreshing map. So here we have it, the Nuclear City, and again, we are the game is kind of filled with bots for the, for the starting players. However, it, it could also not be filled with bots, I'm not too sure actually, but the movement does seem very botty, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, this weapon has such bad recoil, but that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Oh jeez, this weapon is actually insane, okay, okay, this weapon is doing some solid damage. Holy moly! Okay, I am actually popping off with this weapon. Damn! Okay, okay, okay. Easy ultra kill, let's go. I might actually try to get... Okay, if I could get the f uh, f uh, Fury of the start, that would be absolutely insane. I'm going to try my best to do this, alright? Next kill. Oh, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Okay, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Switch into the sniper. Gotta go for the headshot. Easy, let's go. Headshot. Alright, but again, these are bots, so I'm not gonna really flex about being the best at the game. I just need to kill this guy to get a fury. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I literally got way more kills than my whole entire team. And that's actually pretty funny if I'm gonna be honest. Well, again, it's all bots, so if I don't get first place, that would actually make me look bad at the game. Okay, I guess I can't shoot through that. Oh well, that's fine. Um, this is a whole team that I'm gonna be going up against. Let's see how it goes. Alright, got one. And then got the second one. Third guy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the sniper out. Okay, I'm actually gonna be missing a lot. Okay, let me see if I can get him with the- Oh, never mind. He's dead now. I was gonna try to kill him with the flamethrower, but again, I can't really do that. Alright, I'm gonna go for the headshots. And jeez, this weapon is really good if you guys truly aim for the head. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna float the grenade. Let's hope it kills these guys. Nope. Oh yes, what a grenade kill, nice. Yeah, I remember that the grenade used to be very good in this game, and it used to be such a good starting gadget, but then it st st stopped being as good. Alright, I got 11 ammo, let's see if I can kill one more person with this. Nope, he killed me. Alright, I believe I'm gonna be getting a really good rewards throughout this, so this is gonna be pretty fun. Alright, easy sniper shot, let's go. Okay, I'm I need to kind of practice my sniper aim. If I want to actually uh, go into games with uh, much more advanced opponents. And I will definitely need to buy some kind of different um, accessories. Which would allow me to... Um, what's it called? It would definitely allow me to uh, sprint much quicker. Because as you guys can see, my movement speed is very slow currently. Which is actually quite kind of annoying. All right, I really, what I really like about this weapon is it's insanely good fire. Right? This is such a good weapon for starter players. I really like this weapon. I might actually put it as the thumbnail for this video. But we're going to have to see. Alright, Brave Lion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm actually quite low. Let's hope. All right, this guy didn't kill me. Let's go. Oh no, he's about to kill me. Yeah, this this heavy is actually really good. Let me see how much this heavy actually costs. No, I cannot get it just yet. I believe this heavy is a level. I'm actually not sure. I think this guy could have got it from the lottery. Let me know which heavy this was actually, because I could not find it uh, at this current moment. All right, let's go. Um, the Neon Fighter. Let, let's see if I can pull off more insane kill streaks. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for a f Fury. Oh no, not if he hits me this many times. Damn, the bots actually have really good aim in this game. But the one thing uh, that, 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 that there's a problem with this, these bots is that they have very bad awareness in terms of situational uh, s uh, s things like here. He's trying to kill me with the flamethrower even though he's nowhere near me. That's kind of the problem. He needs to kind of whip out his sniper or like his primary in this kind of uh, situations. Which, again, uh, for just for the Pixel Gun 3D devs, uh, if you'd like to fix your bots and make them much more um, competitive and stuff for the new players, so just um, for, for the competitive players who are trying to like enjoy the game, uh, you could always uh, update the bots a little bit and change the way that they um, uh, kind of act depending on the uh, place they're at and stuff. Because like there are bots who are, yeah, like see, this guy try didn't really do much to me. Alright, and see, I'm kind of uh, in this area where I'm 4v1ing and I'm able to get two kills. Like, the, the normal players in this game would kind of probably whip out their sniper and just kill me. But here, I think also a good way around these bots is just to um, kind of uh, stay at a very good distance and kind of strafe around. Because I think there is a specific place that they are meant to aim at. And there we go, that's the victory. And I, I suppose I'm going to uh, get into a game with much better players as time goes on. Alright, so now I'm going to level up to level 3 and let's hope I start getting more players in my game because that's what's going to become an even more refreshing experience if I'll be honest with you. 
Alrighty, alrighty. So level 3. What else, What do we get from level 3? Did I get some coins? Because I accidentally skipped. I believe I got some coins and gems. Oh no, I didn't get any rewards. So that's only available weapons. And here we have it. They are showing us a lot more um, events. So here we have it. It's the Lunar uh, Light event. So what do we have to do in the Lunar um, event? Earn uh, lucky en envelopes in battles and brawls or receive them from watching ads. So I believe we would have to play a lot of games along with watching ads. And I am very excited for the brawls. The developers are doing a great job for this. I'm going to try to grind this whole entire event or I'm going to watch a big ton of ads and we're gonna see what I get in the next video as time goes on. Did I get any rewards from the task cup? Oh yeah, your reward for first task cup entry. Let's go. So that, that's your 10 gems. So guys, remember to always claim these uh, 10 gems from the task cup. And what tasks do we currently have? While well, I'm clicking on this, it's not really working out. All right, what do we have as the sets? We have the universe champion set. So this is actually a really good set if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, the Sly Wolf is mainly the weapon I suggest you guys to get. But for now, since each spin is kind of uh, 80 gems, I do not suggest to do this for now. So you guys would probably have to wait. Like, see, the rewards are pretty good, but it's not worth that much. So I suggest not to do this early on. But definitely, the lottery watching the ad is always important. I will be doing this and saving these spins for future videos and stuff like this. Anyway, I'm going to head myself into just one more game and we could... What game shall we go to because every map it says it's still popular so i'm going to make my way uh, to the paradise resort and i used to sweat out this map a lot when i first started to play in the game and let's go to see if how well i'm actually going to do in paradise resort all right I'm going to play with the same weapon. I could always upgrade this weapon, but I think its damage is still going to be significantly good compared to uh, what the bots are, or maybe the new players are going to be using. Okay, yeah. Uh, the scope is kind of obsolete with this weapon. It's not going to be the best because uh, the recoil is very um, high on this weapon, and that's not really the best thing because it kind of stops us from aiming as good. However, I think I'm able to control the recoil pretty good, so I'm able to get some good uh, snipes on, uh, on these players or bots, whatever they are. Um, all right. Let's see if I can get a good headshot, alright? Oh, the, okay, yeah, see, um, as time goes on, the, the, my weapons started being much more weaker, and that's kind of one of the things I do not like this much, but it, at the same time, it does encourage new players to, to be forced to upgrade their weapons, which, of course, you have to upgrade the weapons to um, make, um, I guess, make... Yeah, you experience the best, of course, and play the best. Like, see, I'm using the flamethrower. I just use a whole stack of ammo on this guy, and he still hasn't died, and he's on 84 health. So this is kind of what I'm saying. There's no way to really upgrade your default weapons, which I think being able to upgrade them, uh, maybe not even rarity, but just being able to upgrade them as a whole would be very good to do. Like, I, I really want to be able to uh, upgrade these weapons because, honestly, the sniper is actually a really good weapon, and I really would like to see how well it would do as level 65 as I'm going to start grinding this account much more but this is actually a really fun experience i did do feel very refreshed uh doing this and this is kind of a new thing for me so if you guys want to see more episodes just like this make sure to of course uh, subscribe and stay notified anyway i really cannot kill this but all right all right i got him i got him i got him all right let's see what we can have here all right i'm gonna have to 2v1 here let's hope i win let's hope i win all right got one got one oh nope i still haven't got him damn this guy is taking, like, no damage. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm saying. I'm going to be forced to start upgrading my uh, Neon Fighter, which I might actually have to do now. Because the damage it does, it's it's kind of insignificant. Yeah, and as I was saying, uh, sorry, I had to quickly make a cut in the video. But really, upgrading is probably going to be the most important thing that you guys will have to do. Or else your weapons will genuinely not do as well. Which is kind of reasonable. So what I suggest is sticking from one to two weapons of the starter. Here we have it. Ten lucky envelopes. And just through one game, that is actually a lot. So I might be able to actually grind these out very quickly. But the first thing I'm going to be able to get, uh, I'm already able to get deathmatch as a game mode. Alright, so we have a Pixel Pass available, which I'm going to go through for, uh, very soon. So we have 10 lucky envelopes, so I can spend these to get 50 keys. And I'm, I'm going to spin the first chest right here, which is going to be the fighter chest. It is honestly a really good chest, so I'm going to go for it. Let's hope I get something good. Maybe even a weapon. Can I get a weapon from here, or am I going to get some gems or coins? Okay, I would genuinely want gems or coins from this chest. However, I did not really get that, which is completely fine, to be honest. And here is our first pixel pass. I have already completed one challenge, and I'm going to be able to get to level 1. Let's see what I have here at level 1. 
Right, so we have a booster, and this booster is actually going to really help you guys out as time goes on. Again, I'm not going to activate any pixel passes right now. I will probably start grinding them much more. Uh, let's see what the offers have in store. And they're not really anything interesting, so I'm gonna uh, pass from this for now. Anyway, guys, if you do enjoy this video and want to see more kind of videos just like this one, please, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoy this, because I would love to do this series and give you guys different recommendations, and Echo has has done something very similar however he's doing it free to play but here what I'm going to be teaching you guys is also how to spend your money correctly if you are willing to spend money on the game anyway guys as I said I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you later guys next video have a great rest of your amazing day and peace out everybody bye bye